Okay, Brent, th there's a lot in this video, and I've got some videos in here that are side-by-side -side comparisons so that you can see yourself with guys that are your age and the energy that they are putting through. Um, if you go back and look at this video again, you'll see, you know, the guy starts with his hand, with his head and his eyes out front towards the pitcher, and then it comes slightly back towards where the ball make where you make contact. You want to make sure when you're working on T work that you're really focusing on. Um, and we talked about this this first lesson. You're really focusing on your mechanics. And I just want you to see this first part of the video so you can see where you are. And then towards the end of this video, you'll see where you were on last Tuesday. On the 16th, I believe. I demonstrated to another uh, student. And uh, I just want you to see how simple. Get my hands through the zone. And try to square the ball up with the bat and make sure that my feet are doing the uh, in the proper my legs and feet are in the proper geometry I want to make sure that my hips aren't too far forward I want to make sure that my my heel on my right foot is up in the air and not still flat to the ground that if it's still flat to the ground it tells me that my hip my right hip is not moving forward in the right right way now this is more live arm and you know comparing you with another guy same principle and you can go back and look at this and you can see the kind of energy that he's putting through his swing and then how your energy, what your energy is about. Um, I'm going to show you a video when you get back to the next lesson uh, this weekend of Nick Swisher. And he's the right fielder for the New York Yankees. Again, this is from the first week and I want you to see the energy that you're putting into your workout for hitting and then I'll show you what he does and it's uh, it's remarkable you know it was something that he did during the off season one year but it just shows you the kind of energy that pro athletes put into their workouts um, you know just mechanics you want to make sure that front knee when you make contact is very firm and you'll see Nolan here on the left he really pushes that front knee down and gets that back hip into it um, and that's something we'll just keep working on. You know, you see how your front shoulder is kind of starting off, uh, going up, up in the air. It's like your back shoulder's down. You really want to make sure your front shoulder is down because you're hitting the hitting zone is right around your knee and thigh. So you want to make sure that all of your energy is going toward that that point. It's the idea that you want to make sure that everything's in the right order. You know, it needs to be the ball, the bat, and then your head and your eyes. We'll work more on that in your hitting later, but I wanted to look at some of your arm action, too, just to kind of go over. You know, coaches are going to watch guys throw. The first thing they do is watch them throw. And if you really watch yourself in slow motion, you'll see things that you've never seen before. You know, you watch your elbow, and it stops at your ear and kind of, waits for your hand to get above it and above your elbow and then goes forward when really it needs to keep moving forward. The radius needs to keep moving forward from the shoulder to the elbow. It needs to keep moving down instead of stopping right there at that point. Um, also watching your footwork too, I can notice that you know you don't really keep your back foot moving forward as you're throwing. It kind of goes up in the air and then it kind of follows after you've come through with your throw. And if you watch the comparison, and go back and watch this comparison between me and you, um, go back and watch this in YouTube. And you watch my back foot and your back foot. Mine keeps coming, keeps coming, and momentum never stops. My hip, if you watch my pelvis, my pelvis keeps turning. Um, you know, go back and look at this throwing arm action and see what I'm talking about and start working on that too from the throwing aspect. Uh, you've got time when you're young like you are right now to kind of work on those things. Now this is you hitting last Tuesday and if you go back and look at the first part of this video and then you look at this part of the video, you'll see a big difference and I can tell you we're really working on uh, your footwork and it's much better. 
you know, I always believe it's best to start from the ground up. You know, guys learn to hit from the ground up. Uh, you also have to learn to keep everything in the right order. It's ball, bat, and then head. And when you slow it down, you can see whether or not your eyes are behind the bat. You're looking down the bat and you're really focused. You can kind of watch your chin and see in slow motion if your chin you know, it's obviously on the left shoulder right now and you want to see when you make contact and you hit that pause button is your chin on your back shoulder and it really needs to be down um, really down on your back shoulder and that way it makes me realize hey you're watching the ball make contact with the bat you know, right now we're still dealing with the mechanical part of hitting and you know there's a lot more to hitting than just mechanics you can see right there is the comparison how Nolan really keeps his eyes behind the bat. So it's in the right order. It's ball, bat, and then head. So, you know, those are things to just keep working on. There's a lot in this video. If you'll go back and just observe a lot of it, you'll pick up more than what I've talked about. But uh, go back and look at this video, and I hope it helps you. Uh, and I'm sure when I see you again, you'll, you'll have worked on this and your mechanics a whole lot more and uh, I'll see you next time.